Hey guys, I want to talk to you today about uh, 1 Peter 4 and in specific we're going to look at just one verse. But this got brought up because, uh, well, I mean this was just part of my reading for today, the chapter that I was reading today. But um, it kind of tied into a conversation that I had with a friend of mine over the weekend. Uh, we were both talking about, uh, you know, a mutual friend who had basically uh, walked with the Lord for a period of time, uh, was involved in his church, heavily involved in theology and the study, and uh, but eventually got to a point where he just kind of quit going to church and he quit fellowshipping and, and things like that. And he basically viewed things from the perspective of, um, you know, I have my walk with God. It's just me and Jesus alone, and, you know, that's, that's good enough. Um, guys, I... You know, I, I hope none of you are like that. I can tell you that I used to be like that. Um, that is either one, a a faux Christian, or two, an extremely immature um, Christian. Because Jesus gave us two commands. He told us to go and to preach the gospel and to make disciples. That was the Great Commission. Those were the two commands that he gave us. <clears throat> and uh, Or two instructions. The two commands that he gave us was to love God with all your heart and to love your neighbor as yourself. So, how do we fulfill those four different aspects by isolating ourselves off from the church? And when we look at 1 Corinthians 4.10, here it is, uh, or excuse me, 1 Peter 4.10, we see that Peter is saying, As each one has received a gift, minister it one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. And what Peter's talking about here is he's talking about the fact that as you have been gifted, it is your responsibility to minister that gift to others in need. You see, Paul talks about in 1 Corinthians how we are a body of Christ and how each one has uh, certain gifts and abilities that others don't have. You may not have the gift of evangelism. I do not. That's just not. It doesn't mean that I don't take the opportunity to evangelize if the opportunity presents itself. But uh, my spiritual gifting is not like that. I do have a close friend that um, literally he can take any conversation and just very organically turn it into an evangelistic uh, you know, opportunity. That is just his gift. Uh, that's not mine. My gifting is more along the lines of teaching and uh, just my ability to remember verses and the Holy Spirit bring them back to my remembrance. This is something that God has gifted me for. So I without Him am useless and He without me can be useless. The idea is, is that there are teachers and there are preachers and that there's all these different facets uh, and you can go through 1 Corinthians 12 and you know all the way to 14 and stuff and look at the various different giftings and ministries and things like that. There's, there's entire studies on this. But the point being is that there is a name for a member of the body that is no longer attached to the body. And it's called a dismembered body part. Um, that body part is essentially dead. And the thing is, is when we have wrongdoing going on in the church, when we have adultery or idolatry or things like this going on in the church, Jesus gave instructions for how the person is to be uh, disciplined and if, if ultimately discipline doesn't work, they're to be put out of the church. And the reason is, is because if you have a cancerous body part, you don't allow it connection to the rest of the body for fear that it will spread to the rest of the body. So it's better to end up with a... With a um, a dismembered body part than it is to infect the entire body. By the same token, isolating yourself from the church is essentially dismembering yourself. It would be like the arm cutting itself off and then laying there on the ground and saying, yep, it's just me and the body. It's just me and the heart. You know, you're not attached to the heart. You're not attached to anything. You're making no useful purpose uh, to the rest of the body and they also are suffering as a result of of being you know disconnected from you you see the idea is is that Jesus told us to love God with all our hearts which means that we do what he tells us to do and in first Peter 10 or 410 he tells us if you have a gift 
use it for God. And this really not even isn't even really a matter of if you have a gift. He's assuming that as each one of you has received a gift, you all have gifts. The only thing that you have to do is find out where you can plug in at a church to use that. Try and figure out where you can you can be a productive part of the body of Christ. And by church, I'm not necessarily talking about just an institution. I'm talking about the body of Christ. Where can you make an impact? Where can your gifts be uniquely uh, utilized by the rest of the body to benefit the body of a, as a whole? So that's the first part. The second part is, you know, um, loving your neighbor as yourself. You know, talking about loving the brethren. Jesus said that, you know, you'll know them by their fruits, you'll know them by their love for one another, things like this. But the idea is, is that if you're an arm that just happens to cut itself off, what you have essentially done, yeah, you've isolated yourself, and it's just you and Jesus, and you're all by yourself, but you have, what you have effectively done is you have just you have just hindered the rest of the body, because now the rest of that particular body is running around with one arm. You know, it's running around with a dismembered limb. You see, isolating yourself from the church and, you know, taking this, this kind of uh, philosophy that it's just me and Jesus. And, and like I said, I, I did this once when I first got saved. I, I wanted no part of other people. I, you know, I went to church because I wanted to learn, because I wanted to grow in, in, in Christ. But the more that I grew, the more that I matured, the more that I understood, the more that I realized that the idea of an isolated Christian is an oxymoron. Um, it's a contradiction in terms. It's There's no such thing. If you're isolating yourself, then you're depriving the body of your gifts and your talents and your abilities. Um, by the same token, you're being disobedient to God. So. I wanted to kind of share that. This was something that I had kind of experienced and it kind of came up again in conversation and then in this morning's reading, um, this verse really just kind of jumped out at me. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I hope that's not the case. I hope you guys find a way to plug in, utilize what your gifts are to benefit the body of Christ as a whole. So, alright, God bless.